What would you say people should do, George, if they well, do one I, thing? I mean, what we have to do is a big structural political economic stuff. You know, what, what we're being told to do is change your cotton buds and all these sort of pathetic micro-consumerist bollocks, which just isn't going to get us anywhere. You know, there are one or two things you can do as a consumer which do make change, switch to a plant-based diet. That's one big, big change because animal farming has this massive environmental impact. Another one, stop flying. Yeah, but, but beyond that, actually everything we have to do is change the system. We have to overthrow this system which is eating the planet with perpetual growth. I mean, since when was GDP a sensible measure of human welfare? And yet everything that governments want to do is to try to boost GDP. Now, people like the OECD or the World Bank who say, oh, we're not asking for a lot of growth, just 3% a year. That means doubling in 24 years. Yeah, we're bursting through all the environmental boundaries and screwing the planet already. You want to double it? Double all that? Double it again? Keep doubling it? It's madness. We've got to find a better way of measuring human welfare than perpetual growth. We've got to start ramping down all fossil fuel production and leave fossil fuels in the ground. And at the same time, and this is a nice bit of it, it turns out that through massive rewilding, ecological restoration, you can draw down a load of the carbon dioxide we've already produced. Huge amounts. Allowing the forests to come back, the marshes to come back, um, the sea floor to recover from trawling and stuff. They draw down carbon dioxide and can take us a long way towards stopping climate breakdown at the same time as stopping ecological breakdown. There's time, but we can't do it by just pissing around at the margins of the problem. We've got to go straight to the heart of capitalism and overthrow it.